Lawrence, um, President, former President Trump has been assigned inmate, inmate number P as in Peter, 01135809. Uh, so the, he's that. He's also individual one. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we've, we've got sort of all of these little um, criminal justice system touchstones for him now. But as the, I mean, the sort of crass common denominator of everything we're talking about here is how to turn those things into not just fundraising fodder, but some sort of badge of honor against the criminal justice system itself, which is some sort of bad thing that needs to be dismantled. Well, yeah, because he cannot admit humiliation or defeat, he takes a day like today, which is humiliating, and he pretends, yes. I'm the boss of the way things are working today. You know, look at me, and I'm doing this for you. Uh, but, you know, we've been sharing the screen with that photograph of Donald Trump, that mugshot of Donald Trump. And one of the rituals of the second term presidency is a significant number of hours spent posing for your presidential portrait. If you're a one-term president, you usually haven't done that, and so you pose for your presidential portrait after your one term. There is Donald Trump's presidential portrait. There will be no picture of Donald Trump that lives longer or is seen by more people in the history of the world than that picture which people will be looking at 300 years from now as the picture of the 45th president of the United States. Can I just ask a visual presentation question about this? I am not, I'm not skilled at this, but is there something weird going on at the tip of his nose? Mm. I'm not either, but it looks like the light. I mean, you think of meadow, just, meadow shot. I don't know if we have meadow shot available. But yeah, he looked like he'd been beat up. That was not great. <laughs> well, but we, well, it's, it's unflattering. I, don't know. It's, I mean, yeah, I'll as you say, I don't know. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't bring a ring light there. Yeah, yeah it's unflattering. I mean, I, I'll tell you this: his supporters will not find anything offensive about this photo, except that he had to submit to it. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're gonna. Yeah. They're gonna what? That photo is gonna. That photo is is gonna be one of the. In a divided country, it'll be a unifying image. <laughs> it'll be. It'll be everywhere across everywhere. the divide. In, everywhere. As a kind of you know, uh, you know, malleable semaphore that that, that that sort of changes changes its meaning depending on uh, in, in whose hands is waving it. I mean, seeing that actually seeing that two shot that you just suggested that the control room put up, which with, the, 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 with Mark Meadows as well. I mean, that's a that's a president and his White House chief of staff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the end of their era. Wow. They got one term and then this. Um, and to have Meadows and other, I mean, have, a, have senior, a, a senior Justice Department official facing felony indictment under the same RICO charge that he's in. To have his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, um, himself at his, in his time, a towering American political figure, have him also facing 13 felony charges, as many charges as Trump. Um, I mean, it is just this, this is a, um, this, there's, there's no going back from this in terms of who we are as a country. And these prosecutors know what they are doing and the country has to contend with the implications of it. But what these men chose to do with the power that they had that brought them to this point ought to be the center of our yes. moral focus here. Um, the practical concerns and political concerns and sort of world-changing concerns about what we become as a country in terms of whether we can handle this. But what they did in terms of, you know, just in Fulton County, trying to make sure that Fulton County votes didn't count. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, for it to come to this is, is a reckoning. And that's what this is uh, for those men and, and for all of us.